Hello, this is Crypto Neptune, and I'm back on once again talking about Pulse Trip. And in this video, we're going to kind of talk about my you know thoughts on the protocol and kind of how I feel it's performing. Remember, nothing I say is financial advice, and you should always do your own research. And thank you to those who continue to support the channel. It definitely means a lot. So with Pulse Trip, you know, it's currently sitting at nine dollars and 93 cents so over the last few days actually it's kind of ticked up kind of nicely so we will look at some of the some of the charts here in a minute but first what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to do the buy and burn to see if i can activate it in time if you have a faucet you can participate in the buy and burn and that helps you know, buy and burn T-Drip and it helps buy and burn H2O. And then you get rewarded in PLS, right? You get like a, a nice little small bag of PLS. It's a great way to add some more PLS to your to your bag. So let's see if we can get this in time. So we'll try to do this buy and burn here. And let's see, see, already activated. Gonna try it again. I'm going to try it again and see if we can get it to go through. And that kind of took some time, so most likely I probably won't get it in time, but we will see if this activates. And we hit the activate button on my side. I, I had to try it like three or four times. And if it says, gives us like that activate button at the at the bottom or message at the bottom, we should be good to go. And kind of hard to say. So <clears throat> might have been slow on the draw there. We really tried to get it. Let me check my check on my side to see if anything happened. To so, yep, so it did activate on my side. Yep. So I did get that PLS by a little over 10,000 PLS and free rewards I got by simply just hitting this buy and burn. And remember, if you have a faucet, you can participate. So I just picked up a nice little bag of uh, PLS and it's helping the protocol with T-Drip and H2O. So looking at the post trip price, we're sitting at $10. It's a nice psychological level to be back at $10, right? And if we can have PLS kind of pull up during the bull run, we should be fine. Again, with this protocol, just be in position because what do we know about what's going on with the post trip ecosystem? It, it's, it's still paying, guys. That's the short and sweet of it. It's paying. We are, you know, able to, you know, take profits when we need to take profits. We're able to add to our positions, compound our positions, right? And, you know, it's, it's, it's working out quite nicely. So up 6.74% over the last 24 hours, right in a $49.87 million market cap. So, I mean, Post Trip is one of those projects that's been out for since August. So what is that? Five months, inching closer to six months, right? And then uh, H2O has been kind of on a nice uptick here also recently up 5.38%, right? Right. And uh, according to what Matt and Eric was saying, one of the ways to help the protocol is essentially, you know, by the H2O, right? You know, the market cap is fairly low right now at 113K. But for those people that have bought H2O, bought it at the bottom and, you know, sold off for profits or, you know, stuck it back into the protocol, you know, selling it back into post strip. They're doing pretty well, right? This is a one of those things within the protocol that if you have a smaller position in the post trip ecosystem, H2O will kind of help you ignite that too. And plus it helps again, it helps increase all these rewards here on the buy and burn. So the more in we increase these rewards, the better it is for everybody else because we'll be able to pick up bigger bags of pls i've noticed that over the over here recently with the buy and burn my bags of pls have gotten kind of increased over time right and then uh treasury drip 
same thing with the treasury bills over the last 24 hours is up 12.884%. So it's, you know, it's, it's functioning well at one point with my, and it looks like it's sitting at a 241K market cap. But again, this, again, buying treasury bills, treasury drip, that also helps with that buy and burn and the, you know, the overall sustainability of the protocol. And it also helps post drip. Um, as for me, you know, with my, my treasury bill at one point, so at, here's a, at one point the value was $20. It went all the way up to $200. Because we reached a price point of 0008. That's when it had reached up to $200. But when people just did those short-term bonds for like four weeks and took profits, the value went back down, but now it's going back up. So am I at all concerned with treasury, the treasury bills? Not at all, because I know once I'm done... Once my 109 days is up, this value is going to be way more. And it's just a matter of kind of timing it rightly between when other people are taking profits and then kind of waiting for it to kind of accelerate the price to go back up and pull the value back up. Right. You know, a good thing for the Treasury bills, you know, could Treasury bills potentially get to. Could it get to one cent? Right. That's something to think about. If it gets to one cent then you know the value of this could be over two grand right which would be a nice little pickup so could be a good opportunity also to kind of stack some of these treasury bills and then kind of figure out what you want to do from there you know you can stick them obviously you can stick them in the garden same thing with the bonds you can kind of days to a bonds you can kind of stick those in the garden too if you want to or you can you know, take profits from your, your T drip, sell back in the PLS or H2O. Uh, you could take take profits or you can just stick it in a faucet, right? So for me, what did I do with my my bonds, right? My bonds are done, which I'm very, very happy about. My bonds are done. This was all in the green for me. This was all profit, right? So the bonds for me have been a positive experience because I bought the bottom, took profits. At key psychological levels when it kind of was pulling back after that huge massive run up when it first launched and then recently here took some profits and what did I do I essentially I increased my position so now I'm sitting really nice here up over 201 in this faucet and up over 20 on this one so 201 here 21 here so I'm very uh, pleased with that and um you know, this value has been gradually going up right at a nice steady pace. So this ecosystem works if you you have to continue to stay the course, because if you're not building your position or not trying to build your position, then you may be kind of left out in a bull run. So for me, is I'm trying to position myself for the bull run so that when I want to come here and pull some of the PLS profits, right or build my bags and pls i will have this income here right or it, it get it, again it could we don't know what's going to happen with uh the richard hart ecosystem right we got like i mentioned we got a uh, bit boy he's like pretty much you know giving the nod to richard hart in the post chain ecosystem which will get a lot of eyeballs on uh, this entire ecosystem so just something to think about so do what you need to do. You know, you can use the bonds, leverage, the, use those bonds. Once they they are finished and mature at that 4% here, up to 200% max ROI, once it gets there, then you can sell those into PDRIP and then put them in your faucet, right? It's kind of like a, you know, passive income accelerator for your faucet, right? But again, or you can just straight up just buy P-Drip and just build your position that way. So, and let's see. Remember, with the 
Let's see, with the garden, you have all these positions that you can kind of consider as well. With the H2O LPs, you got T-Drip here. This is almost pretty much a guaranteed slam dunk with this Treasury Drip because the team put a huge bag of T-Drip in here for this TVL. So pretty much like a slam dunk in that if you choose to stake here and approve it. Now, when you stake in a garden, it is locked up, but you will get fed rewards and uh, the deposit fee is used to buy back P-Drip, right? So 7% is used to buy back P-Drip. Whisk has that constant buy pressure. And then if you claim, 3% goes back to buyback. So there's a lot baked into this system, right? In which you can, you know, earn passively. So yeah, so the garden on these assets, you can earn 1.50% daily up to 300% on PLS, GOAT, PDI. PDI has been on a nice run lately. Pulse X, Hex, uh, Pulse Wrap, Bitcoin, you know, Atropa, Teddy Bear, you name it, it's in here. So exciting times are ahead with the Pulse Chain blockchain as a whole. And everyone that is building on Pulse Strip or everybody that's building on Pulse Chain, like the Pulse Strip team. So no worries on my end, just going to continue to build. And uh, it's nice to see like some green on the charts on the on Pulse Drip, H2O, and T-Drip. So for me, that is pretty much it on my update on Pulse Drip. Thanks for listening and thanks for stopping by.